नमस्ते वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन रीनल फंक्शन टेस्ट्स आई एम डॉक्टर महेश शिरुलाल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एस टी एम कॉलेज ऑफ आयुर्वेदा हासन इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड डिस्कस्ड ऑन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑन कंप्लीट ब्लड काउंट एल एफ टी एंड डायबिटिक प्रोफाइल यू कैन गेट दीज वीडियोज फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट रीनल सिस्टम इज द वन ऑफ द एसेंशियल सिस्टम इन द बॉडी and plays the multiple function it will play the role in maintenance of homeostasis it will maintain the water electrolyte and acid base balance renal system excretes the metabolic wastes like urea creatine uric acid sulfates and phosphates the renal system will retains the vital substances which are helpful for the body like glucose amino acids vitamins and minerals the renal system is also having a hormonal function like the production of erythropoietin hormone which is a stimulator for the production of red blood cells the renal system will play the major function in renin angiotensin mechanism which will regulate the blood pressure anatomically renal diseases can be classified as glomerular diseases to below interstitial diseases vascular diseases and cystic and congenital diseases clinically any renal diseases can be understood as acute and chronic renal diseases on etiologically renal diseases can be understood with pre renal renal and post renal causes severe diarrhea and vomiting hemorrhage burns shock and cardiac failure will lead for low perfusion to the renal system and lead for renal dysfunction diabetic ketoacidosis and severe fever will also lead for renal dysfunctions acute and chronic glomerulonephritis pyelonephritis hydronephritis and renal tuberculosis are the major renal pathologies where the renal function is deranged the obstruction to the flow of urine by urolithiasis urethral and ureter strictures bph and the malignancies will lead for the renal damage The renal function tests were indicated at different scenarios. The renal function tests are used to diagnose the kidney diseases. They are used to monitor the kidney functions in the patients with chronic diabetes, hypertension or any chronic conditions. Renal function tests were used to evaluate the response of the treatment in kidney disease patients. the renal function tests were advised to check the kidney functions before starting the medications that may affect the kidneys urinary symptoms like anuria oliguria polyuria hematuria and nocturia are seen in renal diseases fluid retention and the edema is the most common symptom of any renal diseases electrolyte imbalances and the hypertension also can be seen in renal dysfunction the toxicity will rises in renal dysfunction and leads for the many symptoms like the severe fatigue nausea vomiting loss of appetite confusion poor concentration and even the seizures even may lead for metallic taste in mouth and bad breath and pruritus there are multiple tests which can be used to detect the renal functions the most common tests used in renal function test panel were serum creatinine blood urea and blood urea nitrogen cystatin c estimation of glomerular filtration rate by the different clearance tests serum uric acid serum 
electrolytes calcium and phosphorus can be used to detect the different renal dysfunction urinary tests especially proteinuria and microalbuminuria can be used to detect the different renal abnormality creatine is source of energy for muscles its metabolism will generate creatinine as by product creatinine is produced at steady rate and released into the blood creatinine enters the blood stream and is transported to the kidneys the kidneys filter creatinine via glomeruli and excrete it in urine since creatinine is minimally reabsorbed and minimally secreted by the tubules its blood level is a good indicator of glomerular filtration rate so any damage in kidney functions will lead for increase of serum creatinine this is normal serum creatinine levels the range may slightly change from laboratory to the laboratory rise in serum creatinine levels can be used to grade the renal failure like moderate renal failure severe renal failure or the end stage renal failure blood urea and blood urea nitrogens are a very important component of renal function test panel dietary proteins are break down into amino acids which will generates the ammonia which is the highly toxic to the body liver converts the ammonia into the urea by urea cycle to prevent the toxicity urea enters the blood stream and reaches the kidneys urea is freely filtered by glomeruli and partly reabsorbed by renal tubules depending on hydration status of the person the relation between urea and blood urea nitrogen is each component of urea contains two molecules of nitrogen blood urea and blood urea nitrogen levels are interconvertible blood urea and blood urea nitrogen levels have similar clinical significance on comparison with serum creatinine and blood urea nitrogen levels serum creatinine is more specific to the kidney dysfunction compared to blood urea nitrogen clinically blood urea nitrogen to creatinine ratio is used to differentiate and to assess the different renal and non renal causes the normal ratio between blood urea nitrogen to the creatinine should be between 10:1 to 1 to 20:1 if it is more than 20:1 which will signify the pre renal causes like dehydration ccf then high protein intake if the ratio is less than 10:1 which will signify the liver dysfunction if the ratio is between 10 is to 1 to 15 is to 1 which will signifies the intrinsic renal diseases like glomerulonephritis cystatin c is a new and emerging biomarker which can be used as the alternative to the serum creatinine cystatin c is a protein produced by the all the nucleated cells in the body and which is freely filtered by the kidney compared to the cystatin c and the creatinine cystatin c is having the more merits compared to the creatinine like it is not affected by the muscle mass and there is a no dietary influence on the cystatin c levels thank you for watching the video kindly subscribe to the channel to get the notification of next video thank you